Unity Virtual Production Episode 4, Tour of Unity 3D Software. So in the next episode after this, we're going to do our first project together, which I'm very excited about. But until then, I want to give you a tour of the interface, how we're going to actually interact with the software and do some really cool virtual production. So the first thing we're going to do is go into our search and search for download Unity. And here's the first choice. Now with Unity, you get a choice to download just the software or we're going to download Unity Hub. And Unity Hub is kind of like Adobe Creative Cloud where you download the Creative Cloud and from there you're going to download Photoshop and Premiere Pro and After Effects. Now we have the Projects panel right here and what we're going to do is go over to the Installs panel and as you can see, I already have two installed here, and I'm going to install one as well. So we go to Add, select whatever's recommended right here. I'm gonna create a new project. We're gonna hit New, and we're given a choice here of a 2D project or a 3D project. And then this is the, the render pipeline, and here's like, this is brand new for 2020 is the mobile. Don't worry about it. We're just going to hit 3D. We're going to name our project uh, My First Unity Project. And then I have a folder already set up. So if you want, you can go in and choose the folder that you want your project to be in. I have a folder here um, in my GitHub. So I'm going to choose that and I'm going to hit Create. And here we are in Unity. It looks great. So the first thing at the top right corner, you can hit this, this button right here and you're gonna see different layouts for these windows. All of these windows, you can move around and change however you would like. The first thing is that we have a look inside our scene right here, okay? So in our hierarchy, I'm just gonna drop this down we have a camera and a directional light. This is given for any project that you do. Over here is what the camera is actually seeing and it's called game, okay? So this is what the camera is actually gonna see and right now it's on free perspective. So what you can do is go down here and choose to lock off 16 by nine and then when you change the window, it's gonna stay 16 by nine. Great. Now, the most important part of Unity is this project area, okay? We have our folders. So here's our project, and we have an assets folder, and we have a scene, and then the sample scene is in it. So right now, I'm in my project, and I'm going to save this as something, and what I'm saving is this scene, is the same thing called sample scene. So if I go up to save as, and I go to my project, and I'm gonna name this scene first scene, and I'm gonna save. So as you can see right here, it's now called first scene. So here's our scene. So what we're working on right now will be saved under first scene and I'm gonna drag that into my scene folder. Package folder is kind of the back end of Unity, so you do not need to worry about that. Now, how this looks, you can change right here. I have one column layout. There's also two column layouts. So the next thing in our tour is that we're gonna go over to Window, okay? And we're gonna go down to General and then we're gonna go down to console. It's just gonna give us warnings or errors about our code and help us troubleshoot it. So Unity has so many uses and has built up so many different facets that to ship off a program with everything built in would be ridiculous. So Unity does this by having a package manager. So go to window, package manager, and you're gonna open this up. So you have up here, packages in project. Click that 
and choose Unity Registry. This is connecting to the web. Um, you can spot right here our augmented reality stuff. We have analytics. We have things for Photoshop. And here's Cinemachine, which is going to be extremely exciting in the future. Let's say we want Pro Builder. We're gonna click on this. It's gonna tell us a little bit about it. Here's a button on documentation. So we can click this documentation button and learn more about what we're downloading. Hit install and it's gonna do it all for you. Easy as that. We have a hierarchy of items within the scene and then when you click on them, we can go over to the inspector and we are able to go here and change the values. So let's say I wanna rotate this light. So we wanna organize it in folders. All the items within our project are gonna go in here and then we stage them in the hierarchy and then we change them in the inspector we can change them even more in the scene, and then the final product will show up right here in the game area. So, how do we actually do anything? How do we add anything in Unity? Let me show you. Either go up to Game Object, and we can create, or easier than that, just go over to, let's say, your hierarchy, and you're going to right click, and you can create an empty. So, this is a game object. Everything here is an object. My camera is an object, my directional light is an object, and my game object is an object. A game object on its own has these parameters. Now, a game object is a great way of creating a hierarchy of items that are parented to another item. Now, let's create another item. So. What I want to show you is we can go down and we have 3D objects. So we can create a cube. Here's a cube. Let's create another object. Let's create a, a sphere. Okay. Now I want this sphere to be bigger. What I can do here is X, Y, and Z. How about I type in 5, 5, and 5? How about we go down here and we go to lighting and I create a directional light. So here's a new light in the scene. Let me tell you about the hierarchy. If I take my directional light and I drag it under game object, and let's call this lights on. That game object is now called lights on. And under it, we have the directional light. So if I turn off the directional light, it's off. Let's add the other directional light within lights on, okay? So if I go over to my game object, as you can see right here, I have a little checkbox. So now I can click this off and turn both lights off at the same time. If I go to lights and I go to the inspector, I have this button called add component. Add component is where we can add tons of different functionality and elements on a game object within Unity. For example, I can add all these different types of physics. This is how we're gonna add a script, okay? So let's create a script here called My Lights. And all I have to do here is, it says new script, and then it took what I already typed here and is gonna name this new script my lights. So let's create and add this script. We double click on this script and we're going to open up Visual Studio Code. If you don't have Visual Studio Code downloaded or a IDE code editor downloaded, I highly suggest you download Visual Studio Code because it has functionality within Unity. And what you want to do is you're going to go to File you're gonna to go to Preferences, you're gonna go over to External Tools, and your external script editor should be Visual Studio. This file now lives within Unity right here, okay? What you should know is that here's the name of the script, this should not change, and that right here is called Void Start. 
So when you start the script, uh, if this is attached to the beginning of the game, then this would be at the start of the game or the video. And whatever you type in here would begin. And void update is called once per frame. So these two, th these two uh, forward slashes is how you add a comment in C-sharp. So this is not a part of the script, okay? So I can do comment. And void update is going to be what you do to update every frame. So for us, it's gonna be 24 frames per second mostly. Uh, if you're doing a video game, you have something update every 60 frames per second. So now I'm gonna show you how the magic works. Before void start is called, I'm going to create a public game object and I'm gonna call it lights. And then we initialize with the semicolon. So I'm gonna hit save and I'm going to alt tab back into Unity. I have this game object item here under lights and what I can do is I can drag lights on and now this is the big functionality of Unity that this object is now hooked up in my script and I can go back to my script and I can turn it on and off using coding. So I can change all of the lighting in coding uh, any way I want. So there's an incredible amount of functionality within this program and I only wanna show you a few more things. You can go up to window and you have all these different things here. Animation, animation window, you can drag in and you can create an animation here. And the final thing that I want to show you is what do we do once we're done with our project? Is you go over to file and you go to build settings, okay? And under here, we have platform. We have for the web, we have PS4, Xbox, iOS, and you can download all of this and reformat your project to work for that. So the last thing here is you go to this little button right here. It's a very important button though, called player settings. You're gonna click it and you have a huge amount of choices for settings for your project. In the next episode, we're gonna do our first project together. I'm very excited for that. We're gonna hook up a camera to Unity. We're gonna do a little bit of coding. Don't worry, I'm gonna take you step by step it's gonna be exciting, it's gonna be fun. Uh, give me a like and subscribe if you enjoyed this content and I'll see you there.